Hi, Joe Glavin with City Floor Supply. Today we're gonna to do a little discussion on the Epic from American Sanders. The Epic came out and is one of those hybrid style buffers. Um, so this is truly a two-in-one buffer. Um, you get an aggressive cutting floor sander with this unit with the hydro sand on it and the weights and the RPMs. But you also get a standard buffer which would drive a screen or anything that you would normally drive for finish sanding a floor. So the unit comes with um, a drive block for um, 16 inch Mighty Lock drive block. Obviously your power cable. Um, it comes with these large two inch uh, wide by, I guess about six inch in diameter, balloon style uh, wheels so that we can get up risers and curbs and things like that. Uh, Non-marking gray rubber. We also have uh, LED light on the front so that we get a good picture of how we're sanding, what we're sanding, what's it looking like while we're sanding it. Our dust skirt and uh, with the quick release pin we can see various weights. So this unit runs around 110 pounds without the weight on it and without the hydro sand. When you put the weight and the hydro sand on, and I'll show you the hydro sand in a minute so you know what I'm talking about, is about 132 to 135 pounds. So uh, weights go on very easily. Uh, there is dust collection attached, obviously with the skirt. So let's flip it over and take a look underneath. So as we flip it over, we can see we have our hydro sand attached. Um, this attaches like any normal uh, buffer block. It is a standard clutch and attaches to a 10 to one gearbox. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pads, Hydra. And we also have, um, these pads are a five inch, which uh, was like 125 millimeter, um, with our dust skirt. So if I take this unit off, You really can't obviously see it on film, but this has some great weight to it. Um, and the way the Hydra is assembled with, um, I guess it's almost quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths um, plate steel with individual ball bearings for each pad that are housed um, in their own uh, bell, which really gives them great support. We also have the clutch attached to the plate and a rubber interface that helps with some damping. So uh, really well built, well constructed. I do have metal interface pads on here to stiffen this up and help with the sanding. Because again, we're gonna be sanding a floor that is uh, hickory and it's cupped. So if you look in here, we've got a baffle um, at our bumper on our outer frame that the uh, dust skirt is attached to. And this baffle is uh, control, well, help helps with this dust pickup. So we've got a nice um, airflow coming, or air suction coming right through here. So nice design. I'm gonna put the uh, hydro sand back on. So let me spin this around. I'm gonna show you a really um, nice, feature or important feature actually and it is this buffer is two speed so two speed here and here when we're operating this as a sander with all this weight on it we want to be we want this unit to be in the high speed um, so over 300 rpms and we also want if we're going to run this as a regular buffer with our regular block which would be this Mighty Lock block. Then we're gonna take the weight off 
and we're going to go to low speed. So we're, we're going to run on the high speed. All right, so our lights lit up. So again, it runs very much like a buffer. Um, you know, if I lift up, I go right. If I push down, it goes left. You know, I'm just kind of keeping it in that sweet spot. I've got a uh, 40 grit red heat on here, so it's 40 grit red heat 5 inch discs or 125 millimeters and uh, again it's a uh, pretty cupped hickory floor so you're seeing areas that aren't getting sanded. And I am using the metal interface discs with this. You know, even with this small vacuum and vacuum hose, we probably wouldn't use this really on a job site, but you can see I've got good dust collection. Um, I've aggressively cut down the high points of this cup floor. We got some good stock removal. Um, you know, and this is a buffer. This is a buffer on hickory that's got finish and stain on it. So uh, the hydrosand did a great job.